I'm sorry, Neon Cat. You're cute, but you have to go. You've already seen how to use Control X, Control F to open a file inside of Emacs. But what if you don't know exactly what you're looking for? You could use the shell, or you can use Control X, Control F, but instead of typing a file name, just choose a directory. In this case, we'll simply choose the home directory and press return. This puts us into Emacs's DIRD or DIRED for directory editor mode. And like the game of Black Box from the first video in this series, in this mode, movement is restricted and you can't edit freely. To move around in the directory, you can use the normal movement keys, but you're not restricted to just those. For example, if I want to quickly jump to the GHCI file, I can use Control S to search and then type GHCI and return to end my search. Now, if I want to open the file, I just make sure that my cursor is on the correct line and press return. Let's go ahead and kill this buffer to go back to this directory. Directories can also be opened themselves by pressing return. But in this case, this opens a new dirt buffer. Let's keep going until we're inside of ELPA and NYAN mode. But DIRD isn't limited to just reading files. We can use it to modify the file system as well. Let's say I want to delete this backup file here. I can press D to mark it for deletion, and then X to actually delete it. Note that this is similar to how you can use I to mark any number of packages in the packages list, and then use X to execute the action. You can mark multiple files for deletion this way, and delete them all at the same time. Similarly, you can recursively delete entire directory trees. Let's kill this dirt buffer to go up one level, then mark the NYAN mode directory for deletion, execute it with X, and press Yes. Note that Emacs prompts us to let us know that it's going to do a recursive deletion on this directory. We can do the reverse as well. I'm going to visit the sandbox directory in my home directory. And then in order to create a file, you can use plus. Let's make an episode 4 directory and then enter it with return. If we want to make a new file in this directory, we can just use control X, control F like normal and the default location will be set to the directory that we're inside of. So I want to make an index.html file. I'll cover editing HTML in more depth in a later video, so for now, let's just write a simple message. And then we'll return to the dirt buffer. But notice that our index.html file isn't showing here. In order to see it, we need to refresh the contents of the buffer by pressing G. Dirt mode has some other nice features. For example, if we move to a file and then use the exclamation mark, we can run a shell command on the file. Let's open it with Firefox. We can also copy files with Shift-C and choose a new name for it. Now let's say that I wanted to open both of these files in Firefox. I'll close the first one that I opened. Let's make a quick edit to this file to distinguish them. And watch the size update when I press G. To operate on multiple files at the same time, we'll mark them similarly to how we did with delete. But instead of using D for delete, we'll use M for mark. So now, if I use exclamation mark, if I run the Firefox command on them, Firefox will open both tabs, both index and our new hello. You can unmark a file by moving to it and pressing U, 
or you can unmark all files by pressing Shift U. To show off some of the more fancy marking, let's switch back to my home directory. You can toggle marks with T, so if no files are marked, pressing T will mark all of them, and pressing it again will unmark all of them. Let's say you wanted to work on just the files in this directory and not any subdirectories. To mark all of the directories, press star forward slash. But we want to work on the files, not the directories, so press T to toggle the mark. Let's say what we wanted to do was search for some text inside these files. You can press Shift A to search for a regular expression. Let's just search for Emacs. And from here, you can press Meta, comma to move to the next match, even if that match is in another file. The first matches here are in my bash history. But soon we get to my .shrc, and we've reached the end. So let's go back to the episode 4 directory we were working in and show off a couple of the more advanced features. But before doing so, I want to rename hello.html into, let's say, chapter01.htm. Now I'm going to copy it a couple times so that I have a few different files here. At this point, I can press S to change the sorting order of the directory. Here it's sorted by timestamp, and if I press it again, it's sorted alphabetically. Let's press Shift U to remove those distracting copy indicators on the left. Have you ever wanted to rename a bunch of files in some regular way quickly? Let's say I want to change these chapter files from .htm to .html. I can use Control X, Control Q to make this dirt buffer editable. And from here, I can treat it almost like a normal text buffer in Emacs. I'll move up to the top of the buffer and then use meta shift 5 or meta percent to replace .htm with .html. And I'll just replace these first three and end the search. And now if I press control C, control C, Dirt has figured out the changes that I want and has made the necessary changes on the file system. You can check that by pressing G to refresh or opening up one of these files and taking a look inside. Let's quickly clean up this directory a little bit by deleting all the backup files. First, we can mark them all for deletion with tilde, and then X to execute. There's a lot more that you can do with dirt, and you can find out some of it by opening info with Control H I, going to the Emacs manual, and then from inside of here, look for dirt and open that. Also, like most things in Emacs, you can customize it with Customize Group. There are a lot of options here, so maybe you want to start with changing the colors that it uses. So, if you have any questions, or you have any comments, like you think that the way I pronounce derd makes it sound derpy and that I should pronounce it der ed instead, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.